have uh, a lady here that wishes to come and to connect with us here. I know that she wants to talk to me about the names of Anne or Annie that would be a strong connection for her. I also know that she's a mother here in the spirit world that wishes to come close. This is a very maternal woman, a very good woman that I have. And I don't want to be rude about her chest, but she's got quite a big chest. I feel that the religion or the Bible is important to my lady as I speak to her. Do you understand, darling, yes or no? Yes. yes. Do we have a microphone here? Darling, your lady, a religious woman in the life? Yes. Okay, where we go? Stand up, whoever's there. That's it. That's it, darling. Darling, did your lady also have Irish connections in the life? Yes. In fact, was she an Irish woman, darling? Yes. Good. You're an Irish, was she, was she an Irish, darling? We're Irish. You're Irish and all, good. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's better than no, isn't it? Come on. All right, and so, um, now, do you, do you honestly understand whether she had come from a family of 11 children or there is a strong connection with 11 kids in this woman's family? What does she had mean? 11 children. Had 11 children? Yes. Good for her. Does she have 11 kids? My mother's, my grandmother's family, there was 11 children in total. In that family too. All right, darling. No telly in Ireland now if you want to watch it. All right, and hold on my second. I've got a feeling I might be here. So, darling, let me be with my lady in the black for a second. I will back with you if she gives me a hard time. Is that all right? Right, wait one second. Now, darling, out of these 11 kids that this lady may have, would there have been eight surviving children, or are there currently eight surviving children of the 11? How many, love? Nine. Well, I don't want to kill one, eh? Can you do it again? <laughs> I'm have a little think, quick. Frank, all night. I've lost the will to live, I think. Eight. How many? Eight. Thank God for that. Well done. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. I'm only having a bit of fun with you, darling. It'll just be a bit of banter, innit? But um, I know, as my lady comes forward, she wants to talk about 11 kids, but I know she wants to give all her love to eight children, darling. They could be older now, eh? But are eight children that mean the world to me, dear. That's what I know. Now, my same lady, once you married into her family, you were as good as family. Do you know what I mean? You're one of hers and one of her brood. That's what I know. Yes. Now, do you, do you know, in fact, whether she had a baby that died in her arms, darling? Yes. Is that true? Yes. Good. And we we are together. You must know it. Now, she's not a woman for money, love. I can't give you that. I don't think she's got loads to give you. I know that she was a very simple woman in the life, but a very powerful, strong, Christian-based woman that lived life to the full. I know that she loved to sing. Rubbish, mind you. She couldn't sing a word. But I do feel she could sing like she could say a word, but she was really out of tune. Do you understand me? Yes. Good. Because she still can't sing. And I know as she comes forward singing like... Uh, hymns and singing songs here for you. Now, darling, you have not been well yourself. Do you understand? <laughs> Don't panic, love. You're all right. <laughs> I'm OK. Have you been a bit under the weather, Petal? Yes. Good. Well, not good at all, is it? But it's good that she's right. And I know that she's come here because she knows you've been a bit low, love. Now, there's a boy that's really getting on your nerves, darling, alive, a living person, a younger man who you are concerned for at the present time. And I feel he's a bit uh, naughty or he's uh, a bit roguish and doing things that he shouldn't do. That's correct. That's good, because I will tell you it's good. I know it's true, because she tells me. Okay. Now, you have fitful sleep, or you tend to wake up a lot in the night time. Yes, you with me? Yeah. Now, darling, do you tend to wake up a lot, right, at 25 minutes past three, half past three, about that time, and look at your watch, look at your clock? That's me, yes. Good. Because I know when you wake up at this time, the spirit people are with you. I also believe your father is in the spirit world, too. Yes? Yes. Good. Because I feel here that as she moves to one side, your dad comes in here. Your father was a very physically strong man in life, darling. Do you understand? Yes. A powerful man that I've got here. Good. What is this thing about four children that he refers to, darling? Do you have the four? Do you know of these four children? What does it go? What does it mean? I have three. Don't like it. Our I want last one. You have, does that make four? Yes, it makes four, yes. That's good. Now, your father stands with me here, darling. I know that your father collapsed before he passed over. I was here one minute and gone in the next. Do you understand me? Yes. Do you also understand if he had collapsed in his lounge before he passed and collapsed over like, um, like an armchair or a settee thing? He fell out of the chair. Of a chair. Of That's fine, chair, darling. Yes. Who is Jimmy, darling? Jim, James, in the spirit world? In the spirit, yeah, my husband. James? Oh, he's on the spirit. Sorry. <laughs> My uncle. Jimmy My James? My uncle. Uncle, that's it. Okay. 
Right. It's funny, isn't it, really? Okay. I know I don't know exactly where he needs to be, but I know he needs to say hello to you, and God bless you. Thank, Thank you, very you very much, much. Colin. So. When Tony mentioned 11 children, I knew it was my mum coming through. She was a big, strong lady, very jolly, would help anybody that came to the door. She was just adorable. Do you know, in fact, whether she had a baby that died in her arms, darling? I knew he was speaking about my twin sister, died when she was four months of age. Coming here tonight was an experience and I really enjoyed the whole show. It was very good. I'm so pleased my daughter treated me. So, I'm very happy. There was a lady down here that put her hand up. I'm going to have to actually say to you, my love, as well, that you would understand about this embarrassing warble in the voice when someone started singing. When my grandmother sang. Would you be able to understand about how the difference was never settled between a loved one that had passed to the spirit? Yes. All right, before she had passed. I'm getting the feeling that she needs to actually say to you that that difference now, as far as she's concerned, is settled full and finally. Do, do, do you understand that? And I feel of all the people that she would want to tell, you're the most important person that she needs to tell that to. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. My love, would you please be able to understand that as she connects into my mind, she's putting into my mind the importance of six silver sixpenny pieces. My mother has given me six five pound coins, which I had in my hand yesterday. Silver? Yes. Sorry, it's just the way, that, but I'm being shown that there's the importance of these six silver coins, and my mind's giving yes. it as me as six silver sixpenny books. Yes. Weirdest thing that I'm being asked to say to you is, you don't like peeling onions, do you? Oh. And yet I'm being told to tell you that, the, that as she connects in, she always told you that when you peel or cut onions, mm -hmm. cut them underwater. <laughs> do, do you understand that? Yes. And she told you that so many times, and she said, every time I go and look at her, she still doesn't do it. And she sits there, and I'm being told to actually tell you that you've had to cut up a lot of onions just recently, and you completely forgot about it. Yes. My darling, would you please be able to understand a gentleman that sadly passed the world of spirit, rather embarrassed by the fact that he had a slight indent on the side of his head? My father had two marks here. He collapsed dead. And they were here. My love, I'm going to make this very, very brief because I don't think I want to pursue completely what he, he's asking me to say. So I'm going to actually say to you, I feel that this is something very personal for you. Even though in life sometimes we say that we, you know, we, we will deny something or we're not responsible for something, he wants you to know that as he's passed the world of spirit, he's taken responsibility for everything that he ever did. Okay. All right. Thanks. And I never really meant to harm anybody. I'll leave your daddy's love with you, darling. God bless. Thank you. My grandmother, um, she was, I think, 80 when she passed over. Very, very, very funny woman. Very strict and bitter woman when she wanted to be as well. But she was lovely. She's putting into my mind the importance of six silver sixpenny pieces. My mum has given me, um, well, she gave them to my daughter, six five-pound silver coins. And I had them in my hand yesterday looking at them. Would you please be able to understand a gentleman that sadly passed the world of spirit, rather embarrassed by the fact that he had a slight indent on the side of his head? My father had, um, he just dropped dead. There was two marks just here on his head. My father was a good man, heart of gold. He would do anything for anybody. And he was taken in his prime of life. He's taken responsibility for everything that he ever did some bitterness left behind my father's death, not with me. And he left a, a will and he always said, when you're done it, I stand by what I've done to the day I die. And this is what he's telling me, he stood by what he's done. I never really meant to harm anybody. It makes me feel I think I can move on. Because I haven't been able to move on.
at all. And I need to move on now to the next chapter. I thought the show was fantastic. And for anyone that came in here tonight that was skeptical, I hope they left, you know, more open-minded. And I was a bit skeptical, but no, you know, no, I definitely want to see them again. Ladies and gentlemen, Colin Fry, Tennis Stockwell, the best of British mediumship.